run. we ordered this particular detector price and value cost a little over hundred dollars for the pinpointer and the detector and it works right alongside units that cost 10 times as much we ordered this detector through Walmart had it sent to my in-laws house picked it up right here my wife Heather assembled it without reading the instructions with no tools whatsoever did it like in five minutes this is the detector coil it is waterproof this is the eight inch coil that comes with the bounty hunter treasure tracker 4 good looking piece of equipment now the next thing out of the box here this is the pole or whatever that holds the two pieces together this is the pin pointer now there's been a lot of talk about the pin pointer and how it's not that great of a unit Actually, I found it to work quite nicely, and I'll uh, get into why that is and show you uh, videos of the unit working in the not-too-distant future. For right now, we'll just open up the package, put it by the side of the box, and we'll put batteries in it in just a little while. I wanted to mention the reason we chose the Bounty Hunter. You can buy fancier metal detectors. The truth is, this one does the job. And if you learn how to use it properly, it'll do everything the big boys will do at a fraction of the cost. Okay, when you assemble this, you take the coil first, take the screws out of it, set the pole that holds the whole unit together on top, and make sure the little pins are facing down that kind of locks the pole in the different positions when you adjust it for height. You place this pin in. You don't need any tools. You just place it in, put the screw on the bottom, and away it goes. Let me take this time just to mention, the reason we chose this detector is because of its price. First off, it's, it's very affordable. Just a little over $100 from Walmart, and that's with the pin detector. And you can work with big boys. This can work right alongside the units that cost 10 times as much and find things. You just have to know how it works, how to use it to maximize its capabilities. And if you take the time to learn how to use it and use it properly, it'll do the job. Now you see how easy that went together. We put that together in just a matter of minutes. What's left now is to assemble the cord, plug the cord back into the main operating unit. That's that has the uh, knob on the left to control the sensitivity. It has the little meter, the battery, low battery thing, and you set the type of modes. It has three basic modes, discrimination, uh, all metals, and tone. We're going to get into that on the next video. Right now we plug it in, we turn it over, and we put in the batteries. Now this requires two 9 volt batteries. We're putting just regular old alkaline batteries in it right now, but we've also ordered a set of lithium ion rechargeables because the batteries, they say last about eight to 10 hours. I don't have experience in this, so I can't say for sure. But just to be safe, and because I don't like buying batteries all the time, we're going to go ahead and use the lithium-ion batteries. The batteries slip in very easily. There's kind of a tight fit. You don't want them rattling around while you're shaking the detector, so they're held in by foam. You push them in, and when you push them in, you close the door. You're ready to turn it on and try it out. This doesn't have a really fancy panel, but it does look pretty cool. On the left is the knob that turns the whole unit on. We're going to turn it on right now. Finally, let's put the batteries into the pin pointer. Again, it's a 9-volt battery. You just take off the back handle. Make sure you tip it top to bottom instead of side to side because you can break the tongs off if you do it that way. Put the battery in the detector. Put on the lid. It's ready to use. Now, what we're going to do here is after we get the uh, battery in, you turn on the pin pointer.
We're going to take this unit across the street out to the park for a little trial run. Do you see where I was looking, Emma? Okay. Is that your, your uh, pointer? Yeah, pointer. so that I can exercise okay. without having to have... Get your pointer out. I'm going to put some dirt over there. You can go through. Just pick up a little handfuls of dirt, put it back in the hole while you test it. Got it. What is it? It looks like a bullet or something. It is a bullet. It's a 22 bullet. It's caught, it's brass. Hold it out. Show it. Okay. Find one of those signals and stick with it. We detected at the park today for about two hours. Here's a little overview of all the things we found.